day everyone, Sir Janus here and welcome to another episode of Einstinatics TV. Today, we are going to discuss about phase changes which is covered by Quarter 3, Module 2 of Science 8. So are you ready to learn? For today's video, we will be guided with the following objectives. First one, for the specific objectives, we are going to try to explain the physical changes in terms of the arrangement and motion of atoms and molecules. Another objective na we will try to attain is that we are going to try to determine yung iba't ibang klase ng physical change na pinagdadaanan ng matter. Another objective that we will have for today's video is we are going to, to describe what happens to the molecules or atoms when matter absorbs or nagre-release siya ng init or heat. For the third specific objectives, we are going to try to represent through illustrations or mga drawings yung arrangement of molecules or atoms when objects undergo physical change. And the last one is we are going to try to explain or ipaliwanag yung proseso that takes place using the particle model of the atom. Before we proceed, let us have quick reminders. So feel free to pause the video anytime to soak up the concepts. You can also pause the video, especially when answering the assessments or quizzes. Pwede kang gumamit ng separate papers for your answers. And you may also download the module provided by the link on the video description. And of course, the most important, don't forget to subscribe so that you will be updated with new content. Before we proceed, let us have first a quick review on the particle theory of matter para mas lalo nating maintindihan kung bakit ganon yung phases of matter. First one is that all matter or lahat ng matter ay binubuo ng type ni particles called atoms. Okay? So, second theory for the particle theory is that lahat ng particles in a substance are identical or magkakapareho. Particle theory rule number three is that lahat ng particles, mapasolid, liquid man, or gas, are in constant motion or palaging gumagalaw. Particle theory number four states that yung temperature is nakaka-apekto sa bilis ng particle movement. Mas mainit or mas mataas yung temperature, mas mabilis yung paggalaw, whereas pag uh, mas malamig, then the particle movement would slow down. Particle theory rule number 5 states that lahat ng mga particles have a certain amount of attraction or bond. nag iba, -iba lang siya, depende sa kanyang phase, whether it is solid, liquid, or gas. And the last rule for particle theory is that lahat ng mga particles ay merong mga spaces between them. Napasolid man yan, liquid, or gas, and that enables them to move. Now that we already know the particle theory of matter, this time we are going to go right away with the physical change that matter undergoes. And the first one would be melting or pagkatunaw. So we all know that melting occurs when a solid is heated, meaning yung isang solid ay nainitan and turns into a liquid. Now when it is heated, the particle in solid gain enough energy to overcome the bonding forces holding them firmly and as a result, it melts. So typically during the mel uh, melting, the particle starts to move about or move away from each other as what is shown on the picture. For the next physical change that matter undergoes, it is called as evaporation. Now, from melting, if additional heat or madagdagan yung init that would be added, the liquid particles now gain more kinetic energy. And as a result, since it have more energy, then it has more energy to overcome the forces of attraction, meaning they, be, uh, they can move faster and move farther apart. And as a result, from liquid form, it turns into a gas. So from here, liquid to gas, it is known as evaporation or vaporization. The next uh, physical change that matter undergoes is known as condensation. 
So, nangyayari yung condensation pag yung isang gas is cooled and the motion of the particles slows down or bumagal. Kung halimbawa yung particles lose enough energy or nabawasan siya ng energy because of the loss of heat, yung attraction nila for each other can overcome their motion and as a result would cause them to associate with one another and from gas particles, they would return back to its liquid state. As what is illustrated here on a glass with ice. As you can see, since the temperature goes down, nawalan siya ng heat energy, so yung gas particles around the gas begins to condense and form water droplets. Condensation also is the reason why we have rain. If condensation kanina from gas to liquid, the next physical change that matter undergoes is known as freezing. In the case of freezing, it is the process wherein liquid changes into a solid. So, it occurs when a liquid cools to a point at which its particles no longer have enough energy to overcome the force of attraction between them. As we all know, the freezing point of pure water is 0 degrees Celsius. So, as such, is being illustrated by snow and ice. From liquid water, then it will turn into solid water. Another physical change that matter undergoes is known as sublimation. Yung sublimation naman happens when solid turns directly into a gas and not passing through the liquid state. Examples of this one are dry ice, mothballs, the air fresheners, iodine crystals, and also the toilet bowl deodorizes. As what you can see on the picture, solid particles specifically turns directly into gas particles. Now, let's proceed to the last phase change or physical change that matter undergoes and it is known as deposition. Kung kanina, when a solid turns directly into a gas, it is known as sublimation. Now, this would be the reverse. When a gas turns directly into a solid, then it is known as deposition. So, one example of deposition is the forming of snow or the ice crystals. Now, it bypasses or it does not uh, pass through the liquid state but turns directly from gas to its solid state as what is shown on the video. This time, let us sum up all our learnings for today. When we talk about melting, yung first phase change that we have discussed, it is the process wherein yung solid, it will turn into a liquid. On the other hand naman, pag tinatawag na freezing, ito naman yung liquid would turn into a solid. Vaporization naman, on the other hand, yung liquid will turn into gas. Condensation from gas, it will turn into a liquid. Sublimation from solid into a gas. And the last one, Deposition, it is the process wherein gas is turned into a solid. Now, let's check your understanding by taking on the challenge by answering the small quiz. So, are you ready? For our activity or our short quiz is known as face off. Yung gagawin ninyo is to answer this one. So, yung sagot nyo dito is to identify kung yung energy ba, yung energy or heat, is taken away or is being absorbed through this process. And also, identify kung ano yung classing phase change that these examples undergo. Okay, so are you ready? So, ice turning into a melting ice. What do you think is the answer? So, the correct answer would be, for this particular process, energy is absorbed and the phase change is known as melting. Okay, for next process is yung clouds turns into a rain clouds. Identify whether the energy is absorbed or taken away and identify kung anong klase ng phase change that this example illustrates. So, yung correct answer is that Energy is taken away and 
The phase change that this illustrates is known as condensation. Next example. Kettle with water, yung takore na lam merong laman ng tubig, and of course, yung takore with boiling water. So identify whether energy is absorbed or taken away. And identify what specific phase change that the example undergoes. The correct answer would be energy is absorbed. And by doing so, since it's, uh, it absorbs heat, then as you can see that the kinetic energy or the movement of the particles increases and as a result, the, mar uh, the particles moves away from each other from liquid state, it will turn now into a gas in a process known as evaporation. Next example, liquid water turning into an ice water. So identify kung anong klase ng phase change and identify whether the energy is absorbed or taken away. So, the correct answer would be energy is taken away. As you can see, since frozen na siya, so heat definitely is taken away. And as a result, from liquid state, it is now turned into a solid state and it is known for the process known as freezing. For the last example, yung ice cream and then turning into melting ice cream or yung natunaw na na ice cream. Identify kung anong klase ng phase change and identify kung whether energy is taken away or being absorbed. So, the correct response would be, as you can see, energy is absorbed. And as a result, yung solid kanina na mga particles would turn into a liquid because it gains kinetic energy and since more kinetic energy so the particles starts to move away from each other from solid into a liquid in the process known as melting so did you got it all correct if so congratulations so that's it for today's video i hope you have learned and have fun don't forget to click like ring the bell and subscribe for you to be updated for the next upcoming video. So, Einsteinatics out.